Good evening, folks. Tonight we're discussing two recent papers involving charge exchange, when particles hit each other in space. Both of the papers we're going to be discussing were expected, and it's because of all the other evidence that the galactic current sheet is engulfing our solar system, and that the galactic magnetic reversal is about to be endured. We saw one of those papers yesterday, the interstellar pickup ions and the gradually increasing plasma pressure associated with the shock waves encountered by New Horizons, which is out past Pluto, heading in the general direction of the galactic center. It was an expected announcement, not only because of the overall paradigm with the galactic current sheet, but because just last week we saw a similar story about energetic neutral atoms, ENAs, and how they were exceeding model predictions, which isn't really fair to the model because it models the interactions without the current sheet. Both interstellar pickup ions and ENAs result from interactions between solar wind, solar photoionization, and the material just outside the solar system, which we are encountering. If indeed the galactic current sheet is here, as is not only required by galactic physics but implied by the changes throughout the solar system, then we had better also be seeing more ENAs and interstellar pickup ions. It was surprising to have good enough data to know the dust was increasing in the inner solar system and the corona of the sun, and now that we know the ENAs and pickup ions are following suit, it makes the interplanetary space of the solar system one of the most evidence-heavy aspects of this ongoing shift. Everywhere we look, we find this evidence, and here on Earth, its magnetic, chemical, biological, and psychological effects are quite clear. There is now nowhere a naysayer can hide from this evidence in the solar system, except under a rock which won't help them avoid what it will do to the Earth and Sun within the next two decades, if not sooner. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.